welcome back. It's been another long period of time since I've done a recording. Um, been doing a lot of stuff outside. Um, see, I'm currently a. Uh, well, let me talk about the server right now. Um, it's still on the 1.7.10. Um, we haven't upgraded yet. Um, so I'm heading back to town to get some wool to make an artificial banner since I can't make a real banner yet. Um, let's see, out of Minecraft, um, let's see, I looked at starting my own business as an independent contractor. Um, I think I found all the paperwork that it needs. But after reading all the legal requirements and stuff, it's like, yeah, I don't want that responsibility right now. Um, maybe sometime in the future, I will start my own business when I'm more financially stable and can support that. So that idea came and went. Um, Let's see, the second idea was to go back to school for a master's degree in architecture. Um, so far that idea is panning out. Um, let's see, where's dark color? Right here. Yeah, let's get a little bit more, just in case. A total of nine. Uh, yeah, I think I'll use this one too. Oh yeah, I actually saw another player on here just a few moments ago, so. Savarsuri. I don't know how to pronounce that yet. See, I added all the uh, wool slabs here, the wool carpet here, to get in and out of the pens easier. So that was my little contribution right there. Um, let's see. Oh, my character's hungry. That's becoming a norm. Uh, it is a big Becky's party today, so probably later on I'll show you how that place turned out. Uh, let's see, back to the school thing. Um, I'm looking at a school in a, the Tampa, Florida area. They are accredited with the, uh, I think the NAAB, National Architecture Associ Association Board. Um, they're in charge of accrediting schools in architecture all across um, the U.S., I believe I read that correctly. Um, that's actually how I found the school, is I looked at accreditation first. Um, there were five schools in Florida. The one in Tampa is the closest to where I live. And actually, I, Tampa is the location of the first school I went to. It's about five miles northeast of where I went the first time. So I actually know that area pretty well in the bus system. So. It'll, it'll be nice going back to my old stomping grounds and get away from the family and this town I'm currently surviving in. Uh, the job I have right now is not supporting me one little bit. Pretty much every month I'm severely underpaid for the living expenses and college loans I have to pay back, so... And no one has hired me in anything else, even though I've applied many other places. So, I think it's time to go back to school. 
of my ultimate goal from that ad um, adventure is to become a college instructor. Um, more specifically, um, teaching SketchUp. Um, SketchUp is a 3D modeling program. Um, I think it came out in around 2008-2007, probably earlier. Um, since then it's been slowly gr gaining ground in the design industry. Um, almost able to rival AutoCAD, which that would be great. AutoCAD for a one-year license, like two thousand, three thousand dollars. SketchUp one-year license, six hundred dollars. I'll go with the six hundred. And since it's a three D modeling program, well, it, it was designed to be a 3D modeling program from the start instead of AutoCAD which is a 2D drafting program which later they added 3D capability but to do 2D you pretty much have to draw every single side of an object and it, it it's not intuitive, it takes forever, and if you miss anything, you pretty much have to start all over. In the SketchUp, you make a mistake, it's easier to fix, and you can catch mistakes a lot faster. So, that's why I like it, and I want to teach it. Um, from my research into what it requires to be and in college instructor, you pretty much need a degree one level higher than what you are teaching in a relevant field. So, Masters of Architecture is what I chose since I've already got a degree in interior design. Okay. Uh, yep. And it's up here. Okay. Gray wall. Take that one out. Like that. And. Oop. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking a uh, three by three banner to go outside. Um, and actually made some interesting modifications, particularly right there. Where did it go? There it is. Because that is actually going to be... Well, I'm going to build a defense wall around my biome. Um, right now I'm following the uh, Extreme Hills border biome and that's pretty much what I've found so far and I've noticed I'm gonna have to redesign again I think this will be the third time I've rebuilt that ramp outside not looking forward to it but I, it is gonna have to happen because the border actually goes diagonally under. It's not like up here where I originally thought. So that plus it's hovering. Even though it has columns, it's that there's ground right here. I can use it with steps. And another idea that I'm thinking is not even have a ramp all the way up here since down here on the cliff edge there is all that rock with oh, 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 ha, ha, ha. 
Thank you, water. Um, okay. Ah, okay. Right here. Once I dig down far enough, I can actually make an entrance here. So the ramp will actually be that way. And I think it would reach the wall. And here's my little defensive structure right up here that I'm working on. It's a multi-level. I've still got to clear out the inside here to make this floor. Um, I when I followed the path, I put down a stone or yeah, a yeah, stone brick. Yeah. Um, to follow the path, and then I added five more up to create a six high wall. And this area was actually on top right here of a hill. So, yeah, six high on top of a hill, and it pretty much created this little defensive structure. right here. So right here is the highest part of the hill and around it on the back side was I think several blocks lower. So it created this double tier fort. <laughs> uh. And I've actually got a a parkour entrance over here. Don't tell anyone. Same on this side. Right here. Where you can get in and mobs won't be able to follow. But right up here I'm thinking of putting the banner. That was three by three, so one, two, three. Where do I want to put it? Kind of want to put it in the center ish. Hmm. Put there one, two, three. go. See, I'm gonna need dirt to get up here. Uh, my mouse is horrible today. And, oh, nighttime again. I swear the day-night cycle is accelerated. Oh, uh, I started with a string of torches and then went back and added the uh, stone brick. So I still gotta convert that stuff. And it looks like it's gonna, at least on that edge, it's gonna follow the uh, chunk error. But that side, it's gonna be interesting seeing how it goes around that mountain. One more. Here we go. Okay, now to get this stuff out.
there's my banner. Let's see. Do I even need that second one here? I mean, it could be con considered a flag, a very thick flag, but... Hmm... Yeah, I'll keep it there for now. Uh, let's go outside and see how that looks. And stock up on zombie flesh. Okay, and down. And these are actually... I recently learned a trick where you place it this way so that when the door is closed it's actually up against the wall and when it's open it's like this so a mob when it looks at it sees a open door and doesn't do anything with it um, I have not tested that theory but I'm hoping that's how it works. And hopefully no creepers. Yeah, this can be one of the problems since there's a lot of... Well, I plan on having a lot of trees out here. Not bad. I based the uh, design off of my uh, character's uh, chest. So I actually... Uh, I hear someone. I think I'll get inside real quick. Or at least get up on the ramp. Okay, yeah, right here. Had the two blue, the uh, gray, and I think that's also gray, but I think I like it as white, and then a blo uh, level of black. Um, I can probably increase the pixels on that to capture more detail. Um, maybe one day I will, but I think that by itself is good enough for now. Yay! Oh yeah, I planted these here so I could get all that wood because I'm going to need a lot of wood to make the uh, walkways around here. Um, since my idea is to get rid of the walkway here and reconnect it down there, I'm thinking of turning this area right here into a larger um, gazebo and move all this here and I'm still debating what to actually do with this since down there will be the main point that people visit from town when they use the rail car. Um, if they come up high enough, they reach that level and just go in instead of coming up here and going to that entrance there. So, trying to think of a way to improve the visitor entrance. Wondering if I can actually put the entrance closer down there and have them come in that way like a normal person on the outside would. Ah. Run. Hey, zombie flesh. Most abundant resource ever. Go 
but he didn't follow. Yeah, let's go ahead and update that. Let's see, get up here. Okay, I think it updated that. So yeah, I have a feeling it's going to be quite a ways out, Let's see, probably straight through here and then it'll curve back around. So that'll be an interesting project. I'm thinking if I want to move my gardens, my food production, up onto the hill and maybe do something over here. Let's see. Nobody's on. Let's sleep. And wait a couple of seconds while everything dies. I should probably. Do I have any more armor stuff? Let's see, 48. There. Eh, no shoes. You creeper. I don't trust you. There. And someone's still trying to shoot at me. I was thinking of putting another tower here that'll connect to the future uh, gazebo. And maybe one up there, because I've really got nothing on top of the mountain here. Uh, all this ground down here can probably turn into a garden, food supply, food source. Yeah. Ditto. Yeah, because all of this is really nice and flat that I can use. And probably up on top is a lot of flat area. So I can probably use that eventually. Because having to walk all the way down there and all the way back in, it, it gets tiresome. So... That's the update from this area. Um, let's see. All I've really been doing downstairs is just cleaning out more stone. Let's see, can I see, drop that there? Yeah, I'm saving the bone meal because I can use that to create a um, light gray die so it can make light gray light gray glass Ugh, say that ten, ten times fast so that's why I have a lot of that let's go down here so I've started cleaning this area out and again this is only the top half right there's gonna be the actual floor so I have four more levels to go. So yeah, this is going to be an interesting floor once I finally get around to it. I think I showed this already. I didn't, yeah, didn't show that I cleared out this. 
So yeah, right under my enchanting room. Okay, uh, let's go check out the party area. Yeah. Oh, really? Really? Ugh. It's like, I know people who can eat and run at the same time. Would love to have that feature here. So, go ahead back down to the rail cart system, head back to town, and then I'll see you again when I'm about to head on out to the party area. And I'm back in town, so about to travel from over there to over here. I uh, want to give you a a view of what it kind of looks like. This can be the dance area, the pool, uh, archer range and target practice, um, chicken bucket, I think there was some sort of block moving game. Creeper soccer, spleef arena, and jousting. So, let's head on down that way. <laughs> I've actually done this trip so many times I, I can actually get there without any assistance. See, yes, this gate is pretty much uh, 45 degree from right here. Do, 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 do. Is it? It is getting nighttime. Oh shit. Still going correct. Not a good time to be hungry. the rainbow house thing and a skeleton and of course there's a creeper over there okay so it's not exactly the same path since I'm having to dodge some Mobs! Ah. Let's see, you need to get over here. Ooh. No. Should probably get out a sword. here and voila you're kidding <sighs> hunger I must have I 
think I'm going to go underwater for a bit. Run! Yeah! Ho -ho 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 -ho. I actually made that. For the mobs, holy crap. Okay. Let's sleep the night away. Everybody dead? Okay. So that'll be interesting. Carts move back and forth. I got to shoot it. Still have no idea how chicken bucket works. Let's see box and line game. I think I remember saying that, but I have no idea how that works. And creeper soccer. Uh, I hope that's going to be the last game, because that's going to be a lot of damage. So here's Spleef Arena. I would have used a, a diamond shovel to maximize dig speed, but that's just me. <sighs> pumpkins. Why, 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 pumpkins? Yeah. I think the shooting competitions will probably be my strong suit. Really interested in the the moving target one. Ooh, food. And we already have a visitor. Yeah, I tried working on this. Um, I had a, a white. Yeah, when I was getting a lot of the uh, wool back in town I was using it here to make a actual swimming pool something that you'd see like an, at a competition uh, white with uh, blue stripes um, apparently that wasn't the style they were looking for so they did this pumpkins <sighs> Oh, yeah. And let's go check out the dance floor. Still like this idea. Might have to incorporate that in a design. Okay, so they do have it checkered. And the idea is that the lights actually alternate, so that would be interesting. Uh, snacks, dessert, dinner... How come there's no pizza in Minecraft? You've got pie and stuff. Why, why no pizza? And here's the uh, DJ stuff. What's over here? Light maintenance. Oh, wow. Okay, this was a bit more complicated than I expected. Huh. Okay. Oh, 
how someone really knew what they were doing. Wow. I'm kind of curious as to how that's going to work. And that just goes to nowhere. Hmm. Now I'm curious. Well, that's the update for today. And, uh, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.